Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ironhead Cards. Hope you guys are having a great week. Summer is kind of winding down, and uh, pretty soon we'll have college football upon us. Uh, we'll have football in general upon us, so you know, really looking forward to that. Opening another football box, I found this at Old Wally World Walmart the other day. It's Panini Chronicles Draft Picks 2021. So a bunch of the football rookies for this year, 2021, still in their college unis. Uh, a lot of quarterbacks, a lot of playmakers taken in the draft. I know. You know, usually these these cards that are the guys in their college unis and you know draft picks chronicles like they're not really you know big time value cards. But hey, you never know if you get a Zach Wilson or you know of course a Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones, Trey Lance. You know, one of those guys or one of the other big offensive guys. You know, it could be worth a lot. I, I remember I had actually bought last year some some of the chronicles. Uh, I guess uh, draft picks of like Justin Herbert for like you know. Uh, I don't know, like 30 or so bucks back then in the fall, I think. And, you know, I, I think those cards now might be worth a little bit more. I got to check. But anyway, let's see what we get. Let's get back to our old friend, the the red opener here. Man, look at this. I think, I think the blade's got some rust on it. Man, it has been a while since I have used our old friend here. But, you know, let's give it our old little slice there. Put it down. Safety first, then friendship. And uh, let's open this thing. We've got uh, we're gonna have pink parallels in here in this box. So that's cool. There's 20 cards in the box. So yeah, hopefully a quick opening. Let's get some cool parallels of some of these rookies. This box seems very empty, but I guess not. Um, here are our packs. We've got four packs of five, I assume. And there's our empty box. And, uh, let's get ripping. It's been a while since I've, I mean, we opened uh, some score earlier, but, uh, it's been a while since I've opened these little, little packs. It's so hard to find products on the shelves these days, but, you know, see what we find. So the thing with Chronicles is, as I'm sure many of you know, Chronicles is uh, a line that has different styles of, uh, of cards from Panini. So you'll see, like, Prism style, like... Uh, you know, Optic or Donruss or Elite, uh, some of these different styles of cards. So, you know, it's cool to see what we'll get. So, like, for example, this is uh, Elijah Molden, uh, Prestige style. Let's get some light in there. Yeah, Prestige. I remember Elijah Molden's dad, Alex Molden. He was a Saints player in the 90s. He was not very good, but I think his son uh, seems to be highly touted. I can't remember who drafted him. So, all these cards will be rookie cards. So, uh, See how it goes. Uh, Chuba Hubbard. I've heard of him. I, I remember he was a big deal in college. I'm not sure who drafted him, but running back, you never know. Uh, usually a position that can be of value. Uh, Chuba Hubbard again. There you go. Rookies and stars. All right. So, oh, here's our first pink. Oh, actually, we've got two pink parallels in this pack. The first one, hello. We've got Mr. Justin Fields of uh, this is an Illusions. Yeah, Bears quarterback. I always forget Justin Fields was a first-round pick. I keep talking about Mac Jones and Trey Lance, but Justin Fields certainly a guy to watch. Uh, you know what? This will be definitely worth a sleeve. Um, it's crazy with supplies. I don't know about you guys. I'm able to find well, yeah, I'm able to find sleeves, and I have a lot of sleeves. Top loaders hard to come by nowadays. Very hard to come by. So I don't know if you guys have any tips for how to find top loaders or where to find them. Let me know, but hey, that's our first good hit there. And staying, uh, pink, we got a pink select, Elijah Moore. That's a select field level pink. That looks good uh, for old Ole Miss. Can't remember who drafted him, but it's a good looking card. Hello, Elijah Moore. Nice. I feel like an actual select, it's really hard to pull a, you know, a uh, prism. Uh, field level of anything, so I will take Elijah Moore. Hopefully, he turns out to be pretty good. So, I think that's two of our pinks right there. How many? We're supposed to get three pinks in this box, so I guess we only have one left to go in these remaining three packs. So, we'll see how we how we do. But not a bad first pack. Justin Fields, Elijah Moore. Uh, is Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson or Trey Lance? Are they in these packs? Let's see. Man, it would be cool if we got like a, a prism 
uh, of one of those guys. Uh, we got something shiny in the fourth card here. Okay, Devontae Smith, Heisman Trophy winner. You know, me and everyone, I feel like we're all sleeping on Devontae Smith. I mean, he was won the Heisman. He was electrifying. Uh, he went to Philly, so I think he's hurt right now, but definitely got to watch out. I'm going to put Devontae Smith in the middle. Uh, this is Prestige of Travis Etienne. I think that's pink. I hope that isn't one of our pink parallels again. Maybe it is. <laughs> I hope not. That would mean that we're we're done for the special parallels. But Travis Etienne, okay. Uh, obviously, he he's. I think he's with the Jaguars. He has a lot of chance. Justin Fields, once again. Justin Fields, good one to get. Uh, ooh, we got a little hollow here. Oh, Devonte Smith, again. Nice, nice. Uh, XR, and that is, uh, yeah, that's a very nice Dante Smith. I'll probably sleeve up more of these guys than I, than I am right now. And then our next one here, this is Flux. I think, yeah, Flux, that's a no longer in use uh, Panini brand, but, you know, show up in Chronicles of, uh, of Jamie Newman. Uh, I think quarterback for the, uh, Jamie Newman for, for Wake Forest. I'm not sure where he landed. He was maybe the fifth, sixth, or seventh quarterback in the draft of of renown. But okay, pretty cool looking card. I'll sleeve him. You never know with quarterbacks, man. Like rookie quarterbacks, you could have a guy like a Ryan Fitzpatrick, or you know, like one of those guys who just kind of ends up being really good down the line that no one's talking about. Um, so it's not always just first round guys. Okay, Jamar Chase. That's a nice Jamar Chase. Pretty cool. He'll get a sleeve later. Uh, Nico Collins from Michigan. Okay. Uh, Elijah Moore, again. Ole Miss, Rookies and Stars. We got a Kyle Trask Illusions. Okay. Kyle Trask. And, ooh, uh, Devontae Smith Flux. Okay. Flux seems like a pretty cool brand. I wonder if they'll ever bring that back, but uh, it seems pretty, pretty cool, pretty stylized. Devontae Smith. I, I, so far, we've gotten a lot of Elijah Moore and Devontae Smith. So, hopefully, those guys end up being like Justin Jefferson or like Jerry Judy or, you know, last year's wide receiver class, which was, of course, really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Okay, here we go. Going back to Jamar Chase, another receiver we've gotten before. So, we are loading up on SEC wide receivers, man. Okay, Jamar Chase behind him. There he is. Trevor Lawrence, you know. I think it's a pink parallel one because it's pink or it's his uh, Chronicles. So, you know, it's a Chronicles uh, base card, but it's Trevor Lawrence. So a lot of people are high on him. I don't think he'll be awful or anything, but I don't think he'll be as good as people think. But I know I'm in the vast minority there, but I will sleeve him because I'm sure any Trevor Lawrence is of value. All right. And what do we got here? Uh, Javante Williams. He was the workhorse back for uh, UNC. Behind him, uh, Michigan, uh, Quiddy Pay for Recon. Man, I've never heard of that brand. That must be an old brand. And finishing things off, uh, we got another field level select of an Alabama guy, Mac Jones. Hey, Mac Jones. I will take a Mac Jones any day. Like, okay, so I know everyone's high on Trevor Lawrence and, uh, you know, even Lance and Justin Fields. I think Mac Jones, I, I've seen him, I watch a lot of SEC football. I think he's good. I mean, like, I'm biased. I, I mean, I don't cheer for Alabama, but I watch a lot of Alabama. I think, you know, between Tua and Mac Jones, I think they'll have the rare thing of uh, being a school that has produced two good quarterbacks. But we will see. Obviously, Mac Jones in a, you know, situation in New England where you know he's got a lot around him and a lot of structure so that'll probably help him let's sleeve up Mac Jones so you know what like I so I actually bought two boxes of this Chronicles and I picked the I, one to hang on to that'll just kind of hang on to the box and see how how it goes over the course of the year the other one I opened here on the channel glad I opened this one gosh th th this box opened because it was a little dented so, who knows, maybe, you know, don't disregard those dented boxes. Sometimes those dented boxes are worth something. So let's look at our, our big hits uh, of, of today's opening. We got Mac Jones, field level select base. 
uh, Trevor Lawrence, uh, just a Chronicles base. Uh, well, not a Chronicles base, Chronicles uh, Pink. And uh, we got a really beautiful pink prism of a select field level Elijah Moore. And a beautiful pink, uh, a pink alternate of illusions of Mr. Justin Fields. So not a bad opening for 20 bucks to get these uh, four cards as the hits and, you know, some more in there that are, you know, some receivers that are probably worth something. I'm pretty pleased with it. What do you guys think of Chronicles uh, draft picks? I know it's not a sexy line or anything, but uh, hey, I mean, you could get what you could get at old uh, Walmart. Maybe I'll go back to Walmart and see if there are any left. I mean, doubtful, right? I, of course, I can't be that lucky, but hey, I mean, we're hanging on to some of these guys. I mean, big name first round picks and uh, yeah. Well, thanks for joining us here on Ironhead Cards. Appreciate it. If you can, give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, really helps us out. You know, hoping to get some more subscribers. Hopefully, I will do more channel, or do more videos, and you know, hopefully, I'm able to you know uh, find product out in the wild. That, that's what I'm trying here. And you know, I, I think I should have a video of my friend Mike's cards uh, continuing. I, I need to do a better job of looking up the value of those cards. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you right back here on Iron Head Cards.